Dear Iris, thank you very much for accepting our invitations to discuss about migration in Romania. In this uh, geopolitical context, it is especially important to, to have uh, uh, the experience of you, those who are working in the field of, uh, uh, of um, migration and offering uh, assistance for refugees from, uh, from Ukraine. It is uh, very important to share this uh, experience with the participants of the Black Sea NGO Forum. Uh, and I would like to start our discussion with a question that will be addressed to all the experts from the Black Sea region. Who are the migrants right now and why do they decide to come to, to Romania? Thank you, Angela, for uh, inviting me and for the opportunity to share uh, our uh, experience in the field of uh, migration and uh, integration uh, of uh, immigrants here in Romania. Um, as you know, starting with the conflict uh, in Ukraine, uh, the profile and the reasons uh, why uh, people migrate uh, to Romania and decide to remain in uh, Romania uh, have changed a lot. Um, and uh, because uh, here uh, nowadays we have like uh, uh, 87,000 uh, uh, Ukrainians uh, that are currently uh, residing in, uh, in Romania and around uh, uh, 22,000 have applied for temporary uh, protection. But considering uh, the um, uh, migrants that uh, are coming uh, into Romania, we can um, uh, put them in two categories. The one that uh, uh, are voluntarily uh, choose um, uh, Romania for different reasons, uh, to work, uh, to study uh, or to reunite with their uh, family or you know, as researchers or to do voluntary work. Um, and for employment and on the other side uh, the people that have um, uh, seek refuge in Romania uh, because in their countries uh, is a war or uh, for from different uh, other reasons um, at the moment uh, before starting the war we had like uh, um, one uh, hundred fifty thousand uh, migrants uh, in Rom living in Romania. Uh, this also um, uh, contain includes also the EU mobile citizens. What country they are coming from? Um, they are coming from Turkey. They are coming from China. Uh, Republic of Moldova, uh, for example, for work uh, we have a lot of uh, uh, East Asia uh, countries, uh, Bangladesh, uh, Nepal, uh, Indonesia, uh, and so on. Um, as regarding the people that are seeking for asylum, we have a lot of people from uh, Afghanistan, from Syria, from Iraq. These are uh, the main uh, the main countries. So they are coming from countries where the uh, where they are facing serious problems for their own security. Yeah, in the in the case uh, in the case of uh, asylum seekers or the refugees. Okay, uh, how long uh, does it take for an immigrant to integrate into society or to receive the documents, official documents uh, uh, here in Romania? Uh, depending, uh, as I said, uh, mentioned before, uh, it uh, really depends on the reason why people migrate. So if they migrate, for example, for work, uh, it will take like uh, a few months, um, one month up to uh, three months, let's say, to get the visa for employment and they can stay um, uh, in Romania to and work in Romania for one year with the possibility of extension for another uh, year. Um, same uh, is with um, 
with the people that are coming uh, uh, with the reason uh, to study. Of course, they will apply uh, for the study and they will continue their studies, be it at uh, um, university or um, uh, maybe even higher, uh, higher education. Uh, but when we are talking about uh, the people uh, that are seeking asylum or um, that are um, refugees here in Romania, we have uh, like a, um, a integration program provided by the state that is uh, in the first place for six months with the possibility to um, uh, to extend for one year where the um, uh, refugee uh, receives uh, um, accommodation in the accommodation center uh, centers of the, that are under the coordination of the general inspectorate for uh, immigration and they uh, are entering in an uh, uh, integration program receiving uh, also support but also the possibility to access different uh, public uh, uh, services including education employment uh, uh, and so on uh, so um, and also uh, Romanian language classes and cultural orientation courses this has, uh, these are um, uh, very important and a very small uh, benefit to help them uh, you know settle these classes are for free for, for uh, refugees yeah for yeah the for the refugees yes no. yes yes not for all the for all the immigrants for uh, but for the vulnerable uh, groups, of people. groups of people of immigrants. Mm -hmm. Um, so uh, it is uh, so I integration uh, is a two-way process. So uh, it really depends not only uh, of the migrant, but also on the on the society and what is offered uh, um, in the society, and uh, the the services are provided by the the state and then complementing by the uh, different types of support and services assistance provided by the uh, Romanian NGO most of them with uh, um, funded received by uh, under the um, asylum migration and integration uh, funds available uh, at national uh, level um, so what we can say is that uh, uh, it's uh, it's really paramount for uh, for the integration uh, these Romanian language uh, classes and the cultural um, orientation uh, and also a uh, tailored support for each uh, of the situation because in some cases for example the people students uh, they do not need so much uh, so much support maybe they need uh, uh, support in uh, as information support you mm -hmm. know to know for example about their rights not only to study but to work in Romania maybe they do not know that they have only the right to work for four days uh, for uh, hours a day mm -hmm. so this is important what are the um, uh, the documents they need uh, are they uh, able to access the information information only in Romanian in other language and so on so it's important on the uh, legal status of different uh, types of migrants so in a way uh, the integration uh, process is uh, is very different from this, this point this, of view uh, this kind of support is provided only by public institutions or uh, also NGOs are involved in this process? this is what I'm saying uh, that um, the public institutions are providing public services but also the support is provided by NGO so in a way uh, this is how it works. Uh, uh, the, the NGOs complement the public services provided by the um, by the state. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, uh, and uh, I think that you have uh, been involved in the last uh, three months a lot in uh, uh, the process of uh, providing assistance assistance for uh, for Ukrainian refugees. Uh, 
uh, what are the um, different types of needs that you have observed during this period of time? Yeah, besides the... Uh, this is right, we have been involved in uh, assisting the refugees, especially in the southeastern uh, part of Romania, Isakcha border point and uh, in the Constanța uh, and Tulcea counties. Uh, there are a lot of... Um, uh, of difficulties that they are facing and a lot of support uh, uh, is needed and uh, besides this uh, emergency and immediate uh, needs we are uh, uh, starting to see a lot of uh, needs that will need to be addressed in uh, uh, medium and maybe possible uh, long term uh, so besides um, food and sheltering uh, and hygienic products and uh, um, a lot of legal support and informational support is needed uh, so uh, they can uh, access the uh, temporary protection uh, status because only with this uh, status and uh, legal status they can access the public services that uh, they are available uh, for them. Um, another important uh, issue is uh, linked to employment because uh, their resources, let's say, have um, kind of um, depleted and also the assistance uh, and support that is available so pe and people also want to be um, a little bit independent and uh, a job provides this uh, possibility to uh, to, er to earn a, a salary and uh, um, and for this uh, a lot of this comes also from employers, especially uh, in the uh, in this, this southeast uh, area that we are uh, working uh, with. Um, a lot of employers want to employ Ukrainians, and they are looking for uh, for jobs. But uh, here comes uh, a lot of difficulties in uh, regarding informing the employers, informing the Ukrainian uh, refugees that are searching for work, uh, making sure that uh, we do not face uh, trafficking cases or labor exploitation or uh, um, being employed in the la black labor market or maybe even uh, abuse and harassment at the working place. Um, so all this uh, type of information is necessary, not to mention, and, and we have started, you know, to to um, to address the issue. Uh, most of them are. Um, uh, uh, want also to get some professional uh, uh, recognition of their uh, uh, studies. studies and also work experience so that they can be hired on a position with uh, maybe uh, salaries according to their uh, to their experience also the need of uh, um, Romanian language classes and we have uh, proposed also uh, these uh, Romanian language classes ad ad uh, adapted to the profession because one is, uh, I don't know, uh, to learn uh, Romanian uh, uh, basic, ba uh, for a basic level and the other thing is to uh, have also some uh, some knowledge about you know the the sector the economic sector where you are work with so that you uh, can uh, have a, a basic uh, conversation with your work uh, colleagues as this uh, also uh, ensures that you are uh, integrated at the workplace and uh, um, considering your uh, question about the integration process, integration in the workplace and having a, a, a job is uh, a main uh, uh, important issue that encourages the overall uh, integration into the uh, society. Um, so education. Uh, and uh, because we are uh, considering the profile, we have mainly uh, mothers 
with the children uh, a lot of the children will uh, need to be integrated in educational and in the system and in the kindergarten so this this area uh, and the, the mothers uh, need uh, need support in this uh, in this um, sense yeah um, and also for um, uh, activities, uh, educational activities for children, especially in the case as mother is going to is going to work. Um, one important area that um, uh, is it would be very crucial, as I mentioned, uh, is uh, maybe training and working together with the with the authorities, with the local authorities, because integration is uh, done uh, in the local community. So, uh, on one hand, you have the public opinion and the community that needs to be informed, that needs to maintain its welcoming uh, um, and positive uh, uh, attitude but uh, uh, at the same time you need local authorities that uh, are trained that are prepared and uh, that can uh, adapt their uh, public services and they can uh, to the ukrainian uh, citizen needs and can uh, be dynamic and flexible and adaptable do you think that right now the Romanians are changing their opinion regarding the immigrants? I'm not talking only by about Ukrainian people, but I'm talking about also people coming from other countries that are un under danger, uh, to say so. Um, recently I had a, um, uh, a course on public uh, discourse with the students from the uh, Ovidius uh, University from, uh, from Constanza. It was actually on this uh, topic on how the public opinion is changing or not and we have discussed a very recent uh, survey that is uh, was done uh, um, at a national level uh, in Romania to uh, see exactly this if the public discourse and the public opinion has uh, changed regarding the uh, the immigrants what was uh, interesting is that uh, uh, actually, there is a very positive uh, uh, attitude uh, towards and welcoming attitude towards uh, the Ukrainians and the support and uh, regarding this message, messages of solidarity uh, and uh, tolerance and uh, being uh, being human. Um, that we share the, the same uh, the same value and this uh, in a way has um, extended to the uh, to the other uh, to the other migrants i mean to the other third country notion nationals not only uh, ukrainians so this is uh, this is a positive uh, aspect that uh, this uh, survey uh, showed but as, as I mentioned, it's important, you know, to keep up the good work. Uh, it's important to, to present the information. It's important to have like information campaign to inform the public opinion um, so that uh, they know exactly what is happening in their uh, community, uh, what type of support is provided. Uh, and uh, that uh, they are people in need, also that maybe the their need will be or their stay will not be only for three months. So this this uh, this I think it's important. You know uh, the the work of and collaboration of uh, public authorities with the NGOs and the general public. Uh, you are an active participant of, of the of the Black Sea NGO Forum, and you have a lot of partners in the in the region, mostly from Greece, and they have faced in the in the past uh, a very important uh, uh, migrant uh, crisis with people coming from Syria, uh, uh, the majority of them. Uh, what are the experiences that you are taking from their work? 
and we are trying to use it for the uh, actual crisis, the crisis in, in Romania right now. I mean, with uh, with Ukrainian people. And what are your expectations from uh, from the partners from the from the region? Not all the countries are involved in assisting the the, the refugees from uh, from Ukraine. Um, actually, we have just uh, finished um, a project financed by the European uh, Commission. Um, it uh, snapshots uh, from the border. Uh, it's uh, the project called, and within this uh, project, we have uh, built a network of. Uh, of towns, small towns and islands, uh, actually com uh, municipalities that uh, have been faced with uh, the migration uh, migration flaws. And uh, we had this exchange of good uh, practices among the, um, uh, these uh, localities. And one of them were uh, uh, municipalities uh, from Greece, but not only. For example, the beneficiary of the project was Lampedusa uh, Island that we all know is facing uh, uh, migration. Uh, and here in Romania, we had uh, uh, the local authority that was involved in the in the project uh, and uh, that Novapolis collaborated with was uh, the Constanza municipality and actually we um, uh, they used the um, experience uh, gathered also through the through the project uh, especially as they are uh, uh, sister town with uh, the Odessa uh, uh, city. So for them it was also very, uh, very important, you know, this uh, information and the exchange of information and the support they could, uh, they could, uh, the, they could provide. So um, what, what I am saying is that uh, uh, this project and uh, the working together between uh, local authorities uh, or authorities and CSOs and also working uh, in different regions uh, of Europe that are confronting with the same uh, problem is, um, is essential. Because only through exchange of information, only through um, adapting uh, the lesson learned, but not only, but also what didn't work, or uh, it's uh, it's very it's very important. And um, uh, Romania and the local authorities were not prepared. You know, uh, we didn't have this experience uh, of uh, emergency. Uh, assistance, so it was an ad hoc uh, uh, um, effort. So, in our case, uh, this project uh, was uh, very good because we had some information, we had some exchange of experience, and we had some partners that we can um, we can learn and where we learned from. So, 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 it, yeah, it's important. Coming back to the to the numbers and to the people that are uh, looking for asylum in Romania, do you know what is happening with them, with those who are not receiving the, the asylum status? Um, yeah, uh, actually Romania has, if I'm not mistaken, because it's uh, a little bit different from year to year, um, we had like 50% uh, uh, of them uh, receiving the a protection status because they can receive a refugee status or a subsidiary pro protection uh, status. So, like 50% of the people that apply for asylum receive this uh, this type of um, uh, protection status. Um, for the other 50%, they have the possibility to reapply or uh, they will be returned or they 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 will be be returned in the their country 
are they applying? Do you see a pattern in this regard, or they are um, leaving Romania and? Uh, uh, actually, this is the situation. They apply for asylum and they leave Romania. Um, this was a difficulty also that we. Uh, this was an information that we received from the authorities that this is a difficulty also from the NGO because it's difficult for you to plan the support uh, so you are planning uh, some different types of support and uh, the people are applying for asylum and then uh, are, leaving the country. are leaving the country actually Romania was not considered uh, by many of them uh, like a country of destination or a country they decide to remain but they most of them want to to live further during our discussion you have mentioned uh, a lot of challenges that are facing the immigrants and you have mentioned also the human trafficking. How we can prevent human trafficking uh, among the immigrants that are coming to, to Romania? Oh, this is a, a difficult question, of course, through information and also information provided in their uh, languages. But um, also here I'm, I'm thinking more about, uh, you know, uh, labor exploitation and abuse. Uh, and we had a lot of um, cases in this, uh, uh, also before the, the pandemic, but also during the, the pandemic. So it's important uh, this cooperation between the labor uh, inspection and a lot of, uh, you know, together with the uh, General Inspectorate for Immigration so that they uh, do a lot of controls to see that uh, the situation is, uh, is okay. Also information and trainings of the employers, um, uh, training of the authorities, of course, and uh, information campaigns. Uh, also, uh, maybe with the within uh, with the general public. So, if they see such uh, situation, they can. Uh, and also, for example, in our case, we have a partnership with the National Agency against um, uh, trafficking. So we can uh, provide and uh, include uh, information uh, and have uh, uh, different uh, actions together to prevent uh, human, uh, human trafficking. Um, also for sexual exploitation, because we have a lot, of, a lot of this also in Romania. Um, I would like to ask you at the end of our discussion how immigrants can change a society and how the Ukrainian crisis changed us uh, here. Uh, we became uh, more tolerant or more comprehensive with their needs or how it changed us. Um, first, I would mention that uh, our work is uh, related or is done in the paradigm of migration and development because there are a lot of paradigms uh, the most uh, preeminent is uh, uh, within the security angle so this uh, this means that uh, we see migration as a vector of development uh, for the country of origin for the migrant and uh, his or her family and uh, for the country of transit and destination uh, and we have seen uh, we have seen this and also through our studies we have uh, um, uh, measured for example some uh, some results and I will give you just a very very short uh, uh, example of how uh, migration changed the society uh, because there was a lot of discussions about uh, the migration uh, crisis um, in 2015 Mm -hmm. And yes. Germany, uh, yeah, and Germany that had received more than one million and a half, something like this, of people. And after two or three years, if I'm not mistaken, I, I was uh, reading a study that uh, the new mag migratory flow has contributed with about uh, five percent, three, three to five percent of their GDP. So, and uh, these are only, you know, uh, very uh, cold statistics. So, um, 
we can we can see uh, this uh, in uh, in the number in the overall numbers you know the the economic statistics but um, uh, most of the how to say the, the the contribution of migrants the positive contribution of migrants can be seen uh, by the people themselves in their um, community i think one of the main um, assets uh, and uh, results uh, was the fact that uh, um, Romanians um, uh, provided the help. So we, we, we did it. Uh, we were there. We, um, we were able to work together to help these people uh, in need uh, to hand uh, to 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 to, sh to share you know even if we do not have uh, a lot we are able to to share and we were able to provide um, uh, this support as human so this i think this is one of the main uh, um, positive uh, results that we as society have uh, have learned uh, so we we don't have to be afraid about immigrants and we have to be open-minded and to uh, find solutions for for their needs and for our, ourselves to know better yeah our in neighbor. a way we are faced with the uh, you know with the fear that you have fa fa uh, that you find in every studies they will come to take our uh, jobs they will come to do whatever they are like this but through this uh, uh, this um, help you know uh, through this um, openness uh, as welcoming society uh, we kind of faced this year and saw through it that is just only uh, um, an illusion. I think it is and uh, uh, through this uh, optimistic uh, and positive notes about immigrants in Romania.